Hi, welcome to a quick walk around video for our Ford Grand C-Max. Uh, just come in this week, new one for us. Really clean and tidy, lovely miles, lovely service history. And it has had the gearbox completely refurbished just over a year ago. Um, we've got the bills in there to go along with that, so which is quite important on these. Uh, right, let's go around and have a look then. So it's Panther Black Metallic, halogen headlights, got the front fog lights down the bottom there. 16 inch alloy wheels, they're all in really nice condition. Got locking wheel bolts in there, we've, we've got the nut for that, that's in the glove box. I'll show you that when we get there. Indicators in the wing mirrors. All the panels are very straight. It, all the paint looks to be original as far as I can see. We had a couple of bumper corners tidied up, um, but not like the whole panel resprayed. See it's got the aluminium roof rails up the top there. Rear parking sensors, they're all working, I've tested those out. Being the Grand C-Max, it is the seven-seater model. Obviously I've left everything up uh, so you can see the whole lot. If you need it for a large boot, these fold flat into the floor. And obviously if you had passengers on the third row, you wouldn't have the parcel shelf in there as well, but I just wanted to show you that everything is present and correct. Toe and eye and your inflation kit is there. I also found that tape measure in the car, which you're welcome to. It might be of some use to somebody. We've got tons of them in the office, so I don't really need another one. Seats are all in good order. No rips or tears or anything like that, and they're really solid feeling the third row. Some of the cars, they feel like a little bit of an afterthought almost, but they're really solid and anchored down. Uh, storage compartments and cup holders on both sides. I'm just in the middle of doing a video, Charles. Can I be two men? Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, mate. So, yeah, all wheels lovely. All panels really clean and tidy. couple of stone chips just on the front bumper down the bottom there. I'm going to touch those in, but I just wanted you to, to see that they were there to start with. I'm going to go inside now. One of the big features of this is obviously the big sliding doors. That's the same on both sides. Should be able to give you a better look at those third row of seats like that. As you can see, it's grey cloth. Uh, you've got isofix points for your two outer rear seats. It's a big sort of all-encompassing mat that goes over the whole section there. That is present. Got your magazine holders there, storage, and a 12-volt point. Um, these seats are like a 60-40 split, and this side you can move backwards and forwards and recline, and this side you can do independently from that. So a great range of adjustment. That's how you do it with those ones there. And the little pull tabs, I think, are just under there as well. I'll show you the other side, much the same. Obviously it's electric windows in the back as well and it's got cup holders. And that's the button to release the door from the inside. But yeah, all in really good order. Lighting the middle and front rows there. Electric windows in the front with these little storage areas, bottle holder in there, more storage there. I'm just going to turn that, I was testing out the aircon so I had the blowers on full blast. Turn that down so you can hear me a bit better. Airbag here, in the glove box that's the locking wheel nut. And that is the owner's manual with all the booklets in. I'll include pictures of all that sort of opened up so you can see exactly what's there. Original Ford branded mats in the front. Driver's seat, well, passenger seat, sorry, superb condition. No isofix points there though. We'll go around to the driver's side where I'll finish off. Electric mirrors, electric windows, power child locks because obviously it's got the sliding doors. Uh, the build sticker is down there, I'll include a picture of that so you can see the paint code and all that sort of stuff. Height adjustment for the driver's seat and the storage along with lumbar support there. 
original Ford mat in the front as well, of course. Lighting controls down there. Two keys. Lovely low miles, 64,334. No warning lights on the dash. Engine's been running the whole time we've been doing the video. It's lovely and quiet. Multifunction steering wheel with telephone controls and it has got the voice recognition module as well. If I click that, hopefully you'll be able to see it. Uh, might as well have stayed over there actually. DAB radio, it obviously has FM and AM as well. Single slot CD, uh, auxiliary input and Bluetooth audio streaming. And that's where you link up your phone. Just using those shortcut buttons down the side there for that. So that's the head unit and there's the CD slot. But let's move the gear stick out of the way so we can see this a bit better. Heated front and rear screens and aircon, which is working. I've tested it out. Uh, the main reason you're probably looking at the car, the automatic gearbox. It's the power shift one, so you can go into sports mode or you can manually go up and down. The majority of the time, most people tend to just leave it in drive. 12 volt point, cup holders, traditional handbrake, armrest with USB and auxiliary in points. Airbags up there, vanity mirrors there, sunglasses holder, and let me just this little bit fiddly to get out. There we are. Uh, like an extended range mirror, so you can see into the third row as well. That is everything I can see on the car. If I've missed anything, please give me a shout and I will check for you. I'll include as many pictures as I possibly can of the inside, the outside, and any paperwork that came with this car. There's tons of paperwork. Um, so with all that, it should give you a really good sort of balanced view of what the car's like. Um, I know more and more people are having these cars delivered now without visiting us beforehand, which is fine. We're more than happy to do that. Obviously, if you're local to us and you want to pop in and see the car for yourself, you're more than welcome to do that as well. We just ask that you please make an appointment first. Okay, thank you very much for watching.